Currently working on a Land Rover Freelander 2. This is a 2012 model and the customer complaint is low coolant warning comes up on the dash, uh, topped up a couple of times and keeps coming back up. So we have coolant loss with this engine and in this video I'm going to investigate that. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is a uh, assessment of it. You may be able to see straight under the bonnet if there's a hole split or something like that. Uh, evident, if not, it will be a pressure test uh, on the system and see where that leak is coming from. So the first thing I do is a visual check under the bonnet, see if I can see any leaks. Nothing easily spotted, so I set up the pressure tester, just put it to below one bar and then I come back a short time later and I can see the pressure has dropped off. Again, I do a quick scan on the top side. I can start to see some wetness forming at the rear of the engine. Can't get a clear picture from the top side, so I need to put it up in the air, take the underguards off, and try to get a better visual from the lower side of the engine to see what's going on. This is a shot from the underside looking at the rear of the engine and now I have a much better uh, visual of where the leak is coming from. It is a difficult, hard to reach uh, point. Uh, what I do is utilize my video uh, on my phone in these instances to try and get a clear shot up there. You can see the drip running off the heat shield down along and I'm trying to see as I zoom in if it's coming from that hose which is on the front section or whether it's coming from the EGR cooler itself so I'm zooming in you can see the wetness if there was a pinhole on the inside of that hose it would also have that runoff so I'm trying to confirm without taking out the bore scope what exactly has failed is it the hose on the front section is it the EGR cooler itself so I utilize a couple of inspection mirrors uh, both different sizes and try and get a better visual. I also use my phone. I have the flashlight on the phone to try and get a clear of an image as I possibly can. It's a really good idea as well for documenting your work so you can show the customer afterwards. And as you can see here, I was able to get a clear image quite quickly that that EGR cooler was where the leak was coming from. Now I'd 100% recommend replacing the hose as well. It's obviously got coolant staining all around it. It did look a bit swelled, so that needs to be replaced. Now at this point of the inspection, it's time to talk to the customer because one way or another that EGR cooler needs to come out. And for your information, if you do have an EGR cooler removed, there is another test that you can do by submerging it in water, making up a couple of attachments, blocking off one side and applying a pressure into the other. You can check to see if bubbles come through if you have an internal leak in that EGR cooler. Now you may be wondering what an EGR cooler is. Well, it cools the exhaust gases before they're recirculated back in the engine by the EGR valve. Simply put, it's another emissions related item that's been added onto vehicles by manufacturers to help combat emissions related problems that they're having. Now, if you're having a, let's say, head gasket related fault on some vehicles, I have seen mechanics misdiagnose it where they haven't tested the GR cooler. They think it's the head gasket and they have a double up on work with misdiagnosis. So that testing I was speaking about earlier is a very viable test, especially in some other makes and models of vehicles where it's common for them to fail. And unfortunately that is it for this video. At time of recording, there was no more updates. Customer was given the information and they were going to decide what they wanted to do going forward. But if you have a Land Rover Freelander, possibly a Discovery as well, 2.2 turbo diesel, you have a coolant leak at the rear of your engine, I would strongly recommend looking in that area for the fault. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it useful and informative. If you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Ooh, ooh.